platform when you can simultaneously live stream to every platform to discover new audiences faster using Restream.io. Your daily drop on gaming, live streaming, and social media today is Amazon Associates, how to make a passive income that can support your live streaming and content creator goals and make that grind just a little bit more manageable. So guys, we've talked about this before and we're certainly not getting paid to say any of this, but I don't think a lot of creators realize how much passive income they're leaving on the table by not applying this to their strategy. You know, that's right. And we're not gonna, just as every episode starts out with us just showing the good stuff, here it is. This is my Amazon Associates account from this year. And as you can see, I've made $16,000 in passive income this year just by referring sales to products on Amazon using the uh, AWOL digital brand. Uh, and I'm gonna go through exactly how I've done this. I've sold, as you can see, uh, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I've sold over $400,000 in products to people this year uh, by referring things that I like on Amazon. And I made $16,000 in commission. Uh, and so how the hell did I do this? I'm gonna break down this entire strategy in this episode. It's actually quite simple. And here's the mind bending part. Are you guys ready? In my mind. I haven't really even made any videos this year that have done Amazon Associates. I think I made maybe one or two. Uh, all this money I'm making right now, $4,000 per month in Amazon Associates, is from videos I made in 2019 or earlier. Are you guys ready? Like, this is real. I'm going to show it all to you right now. I mean, I tell people all the time, why aren't you doing Amazon Associates? And they're like, uh, I'll think about adding Amazon to my strategy. Are you sure you don't want to add it right now? That's $4,000 a month, amigo, off of like nine videos. What do you guys want me to cover first? work you put into this so is it yeah. just videos like how much setup did you have to do how many hours is this like how much effort is it to make this much how many videos produced do you have to have do you have to do like 100 do you have to do five what's the number here understood so the first thing that you need to do is sign up for amazon associates and so you do have to already have you know a youtube channel or a twitch avenue or some sort of social media presence that's somewhat decent and then you just google sign up for amazon associates it'll bring you to whatever the current landing page is it changes all the time you have to make a case as to why you are eligible uh, for amazon associates and you have to make a case for why you could sell products you need to take some time when you're filling out in that sign up process uh why you think you're eligible uh because <clears throat> they can deny a lot of people they don't want to give everybody this program uh, because they have to provide customer support. I have an account manager now that works with me. And so make a case as to why you are a compelling person to sell specific products on Amazon. So for example, if your channel is all about health and fitness, what you'd want to do is obviously link your channel. It'll tell you to link all of your avenues, but write a really professional summary of who you are, what your professional background is. Uh, if you've been a personal trainer, put that in there. You know, maybe talk more specifically about, you know, I specialize in these types of products and also talk about the demand you've already had from your audience for the products you're going to be selling through Amazon. And then that'll give a more compelling argument to Amazon to approve you. What you don't want to do is just kind of link all of your avenues and say, yo, kid, give me some Amazon and just breeze over that process because you'll get denied. And you may be denied for over a year. It's possible to be denied for a long time before you can reapply. So take it very seriously like you're applying for a job. That is step one. Step two is to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right now. Step two is to recommend products. that. Oh, God, look at that thumbnail of me. Recommend Ooh. products that you know about. And so me, I've been, I've been the AV tech guy my entire life. I was head of the AV tech team in high school back in 2000, in, two, in 2000. So for the last 20 years, I've been that guy. In fact, I did the morning announcements when I was in fifth grade and I taught my teacher in fifth grade how to use cameras. So I've always been that guy. And so the types of products I'm recommending on my channel, as you can see here, just from this playlist, is home studio equipment, webcams, microphones, 
the mixer we're currently using, Blue Yeti, etc. And I'm just talking about products that I already own, and I'm recommending the best ones to people through YouTube videos. And so a strategy that's really worked well for me is comparing and contrasting two products that are at, let's say, the top of a particular market. Uh, and so in this case, this video, which has been a huge breadwinner for me, this one makes me about $2,000 a month on its own. Uh, is just comparing the two most popular webcams on the internet, the Logitech Brio, uh, or I'm sorry, the Logitech Brio versus the um, uh, Logitech C920. The Logitech Brio is this one. I'm waving to you guys on. The one I did in the review video is this one. Hi, guys. And so what I'm doing in this video, and I'll show you the video right now, is I just hop on camera and with no BS or, oh God, that thumbnail, that like freeze frame is so terrible. I made this video in 2018 actually. And all I do in the video is I talk about the cameras. I switch my shot between the two cameras here, as you can see. Uh, and God, it just won't get off that freaking freeze frame. Uh, but I switch my shot between the two cameras. I'm like, hey, here's camera number one. And here's the lighting I'm using for it. And here are the best practices I'm using for that camera. And then I go, okay, and here's lighting, here's lighting situation number two. And here's camera number two. And I'm comparing and contrasting these two products. And people just get no BS, no rigmarole, no me trying to teach them a life lesson or convert them to Christianity. I just straight up show the products. I show what's a, what you can do to make those products effective. And I tell them why they are the best products for that particular niche possible on the internet. See how I'm switching between the two shots here for those of that are listening on audio. I'm just switching between each webcam so you can literally see it. So you want to demo the products and actually show them being used in your videos. That makes it way more effective. Then in your description below, you're going to have links at the very, very tippity top of your description that uh, are Amazon Associates links. Where if anybody clicks those links, and purchases any of the products you talk about in your video, you get a commission off of that. You can think maybe typically two to 4% is the standard commission rate uh, for this. And so people click these links in the description. They are then sent to Amazon and anything they purchase while they're on Amazon, I get a commission off of those purchases. Does that make sense? Any questions, guys? actually have an interesting question uh, from True Nemesis Prime in chat saying, you have a following. I'm too small for this. Can, do you have to be like a medium-sized creator to get views? Because I noticed the one, view you, uh, the one video you just listed had like 250K views or so. Uh, and your channel is sizable. What, can you do this with no uh, size at all as a smaller YouTuber? Yeah, so Nemesis and anybody out there that thinks they're too small to do this is completely wrong. Uh, so they're like, you're a sizable YouTuber. No, I'm not. When I release a video on my YouTube channel, I get 150 views. Today, with nearly 40,000 subscribers. How is that possible? AWOL, you're a terrible YouTuber. No, <laughs> this is a, this strategy is all about YouTube search. It doesn't matter how many viewers uh, or how many subscribers you have or how big your audience currently is. Let me show you proof right now that that is not true and you can't do it as a small YouTuber. When I did this video, I was getting like 10,000 views a month or like 5,000 views a month. Here's the views timeline on this video. When I released the video in 2018, as you can see, I was getting no views, 16, nine, 11. An entire year passed still getting like 40 views, almost no views. And then all of a sudden, here in 2020, the video started blowing up because you it just picked up the video two years later. And then it started blowing up in YouTube search to where the video is now getting 1,000 to 2,000 searches per day. So this is proof right here. You don't need to be a big YouTuber. You don't need to be, any YouTuber can do this. An entire year and a half passed with this video got no traction. And then all of a sudden, here this year, people started searching for webcams a lot. And YouTube finally discovered that my video on webcams was actually probably the best webcam video on YouTube. And so it started suggesting my video over everyone else's. And the same thing is the case for every single video I have here. Every video that now has like 100,000, 200,000, 50,000, 75,000 views, whatever, that I'm running Amazon Associates with, they all got like, 
a hundred views in the first day. Tops. It's all about YouTube search. So let me dive a little bit deeper into that then. Do you see my titles? Do you see how they're so jam-packed and optimized for YouTube search? I did a ton of research using TubeBuddy and to get the keywords that I needed for all of these videos. And what I noticed for the webcam videos, for example, obviously webcams was the optimal keyword that I needed to go after. But I also noticed that people were searching for YouTube webcams, Twitch webcams, and streaming webcams as keyword combinations. So I included those keywords here. They were also specifically searching for 1080p and 4K webcams. So I added those keywords. And then I included the specific keywords of the very specific products I was reviewing because they are popular products. So when you're doing search-based content, you can pack your titles with lots and lots and lots of keywords. That's totally fine. As long as it starts with something catchy and it gets cut straight to the chase as to what the value of the video is. So in this case, it's the two best webcams and it doesn't matter whatever happens after that. It's the two best webcams. That's all you need to know. That's the beginning of my title. And my thumbnail is literally just showing the two webcams. No text, no anything, right? It's just one webcam and the other webcam. You don't hide what the product is. You don't put it in a question mark box. You don't say question mark price question mark. You don't let the viewer ask any questions about what they're about to watch. You say, these are the two best. You show the two best in the thumbnail. And then when the video starts, you show the two best. You don't hide any value at all. You give all the value up front and you only give value in the video and you give people what they clicked for and your content will take off. It might take a year, it might take two years, but it'll, take, it, but it'll get there. So this Amazon Associates strategy, I actually considered closing down my Amazon Associates account in 2018. Uh, I told Perrin about this. And at the end of that year or 2019, I just suddenly got a surprise of $500 in my Amazon Associates account out of nowhere. I'm like, what the heck even happened here? Where did this $500 come from? I was surprised. And it was because the YouTube algorithm started picking up one of my videos. Then it picked up two of my videos, then three, then four, then five, then six. And then all of a sudden I'm making thousands of dollars per month in commissions off of Amazon Associates. So this is all about a long game to build up your revenue over time. And, you know, I only made about nine videos that's making all this money. I've made about $20,000 off of nine videos. If I was making more consistent videos right now, to be honest, and I had been this entire time, I would probably be making forty to $50,000 per month, just to be perfectly honest. Any other questions? Are there any items on Amazon that you cannot create an affiliate link for? Yes. There are. There are just some items on Amazon you can't create right, an affiliate link I for. Uh, I don't, I, I, th I it's, it's not in a, it's, like a menu that you can look at, like, oh, here's all of our objects, you know, so, pick and choose, or is it just? Yeah, let me, let me, let me uh, show everybody how it works. So tell me a product that you, maybe just as an example product of something that you might want to put in your Amazon Associates uh, description, Ross. Like, what's a product you use that you might recommend? Uh, let's go with, um, let's go with the Logitech. Let's go with something that we use. Okay. Logitech Brio. There you go. All right. So you go ahead and search for the Logitech Brio and, uh, you'll go ahead and find whichever one you want to recommend to people. I usually go with the top search result and here it is. So what you can do is you go up here to click the link. This is your Amazon Associates Stripe bar at the top of your browser. For those that are listening on audio, it's just a bar that overlays on top of Amazon that allows you to get links and images and image plus text links that you can embed in a website if you want. You click get link and it'll pull up this page here. Whenever you click, click get link and it's not eligible for Amazon Associates, it'll just say this product is not eligible. And there are some products that aren't because those particular companies that sell that product have decided that they want to opt out of the program. So uh, let me just show you. I think there's a Behringer USB mixer, I think. 
that uh, it opted out. It's one. Of, it's the USB mixer I used to recommend to people, uh, but I was unable to get Amazon Associates commissions off of it. So I decided I'm not going to recommend that mixer anymore. <laughs> if, if they won't let me make money off of recommending it, I'll go recommend a product that I can make money off of recommending. And there's plenty of products out there that are very comparable uh, that I can make money off of. And so... Uh, I clicked, I mean, maybe it's going to work right now. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but there is a USB mixer anyway. It's just an example, uh, that they blocked people from being getting Amazon commissions off of it because that company decided to do that. And generally speaking, companies that block people from getting commissions off of their product. Okay. They open commissions back up. Generally speaking, companies that block people from getting commissions are companies that are selling their product really, really well at the moment. And so they're not as incentivized to want to do a program like this. And they're like, we don't need that. Because at the end of the day, the Amazon associate, you out there, the audience, me, we get two to 4% of their profit margins. We take that. So the customer, your, your viewers, they pay the exact same price on Amazon as if they're shopping on Amazon normally. So you're actually taking your commission from the profit pool, from the profit margins of that manufacturer or that seller. And so these sellers are sacrificing profits in exchange for free advertising that you're providing their products. And some of them, maybe they have a really slim profit margin, or maybe their product's selling like gangbusters anyway, and they'll decide to opt out. Any other questions? I, th I still think there's uh, some trouble for viewers understanding, like, but, well, you have a more than 23 subscribers, so this works for you. What about somebody with 23 subscribers? I don't, can we explain the YouTube search strategy a little bit? I think, uh, I think they're having a hard time understanding that you don't really need any subscribers for this. YouTube search doesn't work like that. I mean, I, I don't know how else to explain it other than this screen right here. Everyone look at it. When I released this video on uh, Wednesday... Tuesday, August 24th, on that day, I got four views the day I released this video. Four. Look at it. It's right there in front of you. The next day, I got one view a couple days later, three views a couple days later, zero views a month later. Do you see? This is nothing. My channel was absolutely nothing at this time. I was literally getting basically no views when this video released. Look at it. And look, I continued to get no views for like a year. And then I started getting a little more. Then I started getting a little more. And then eventually it spiked up into what it is right now. Right here. There's nothing more to explain other than this. This video right here that's made me about, I don't know, $8,000. I got three views the day it was released. So anybody out there who's talking about, well, I'm too small, I have 23 subs, or I have 50 subs, or I only have 1,000 subs, I can't do this, I'm not as big as you. Look at the screen. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, when I, when I say that I got three views the day I released this, and I made $8,000 off the video, and anybody can do it, then you're hopeless. Then we're not talking to you anymore. Right? So Perrin, on. you could release these videos today, Perrin, and you could be making could. thousands of dollars uh, per month in a, in a year or two from now. Easily. Ross, you could do the same thing. Gaming creators out there that are already playing games, you it, the fact that you guys haven't been linking to Amazon Associates for the games that you play or the consoles that you play on or the monitors that you use or the mouse and keyboard that you use, you've left, you've left thousands of dollars on the table. You just left it behind. If a year ago you had started when you're you're playing Far Cry whatever, or you were playing whatever game, and you told your audience, look, if you guys are looking to buy the console version of this game, there's a link in the description below. As you guys know, I play on PlayStation. If you're looking to buy a PlayStation Pro like mine, or you're looking to buy this game, Far Cry whatever, link in the description below. Buy it from me so I get a small commission off of it. It, pay, it helps me pay for the channel. If you had been doing that for the last year, you'd have thousands of dollars in your pocket. We've actually got um, and kind of a um, pit boss, Pat. He asked, can you add links in live streams? So I guess the question would be, do you find more success, obviously, in videos 
or do you ever find success by using affiliate links actually in live streams and not standalone videos? Yeah, the reason why this is working for me is that you have to make a video about a particular topic right. and then sell the thing that is that topic. So you can't just like throw this in the mix on a random video and hope that it converts. It's not gonna do that. So your video needs to be on a very specific topic that's attracting people to one thing. And that one thing should be purchasable on Amazon. So let's say you do a video series, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, comparing and contrasting, um, you know, uh, uh, PlayStation 5 versus uh, Xbox Series X, right? Right. Whenever you do PlayStation 5, you know, let's say the hardware, the video, PlayStation 5, the DualShock controller, PlayStation 5, the whatever. Every one of those videos, when people find your video, they will have been searching for PlayStation 5. And so you've narrowed the topic down in your YouTube video down to something that our people are actually searching for. And that thing that they're searching for is a purchasable product. And so when you tell them in your PlayStation 5 analysis series about the hardware, the controllers, and whatever, if you want to buy a PlayStation 5, use my Amazon affiliates link below. You have narrowed down all the people on the internet to only people that are interested in that particular product. They've watched your video and they like you. And now they'll purchase the product from your link because you've given them value and you've helped them learn and understand more about that product. Just randomly doing a live stream, I'm gonna cut to my control shot and being like, oh yeah, and by the way, guys, I'm using the Logitech 502 mouse right here and my monitor's really cool. Like, nobody's gonna buy your crap. So that's why Twitch affiliate and Twitch, you know, Amazon affiliates and stuff like that's kind of a farce uh, until you get a giant audience. You're gonna be getting like a sub 1% conversion rate on people being your viewers and then purchasing the things in your studio when you're a live streamer. Because your streams aren't about purchasable items. They're about you live streaming and being entertaining. And so people are coming there for live entertainment. They're not literally searching for the name of a purchasable product. That's why all my videos worked so incredibly well, is that the keywords in these videos, when they took off in YouTube search, are literally the names of purchasable products on Amazon. That's why it works. So folks that are running live streams and they're like, oh, you know, I've been leaving, I've been leaving in my description the links to my mouse and my monitor and my PlayStation and my all this stuff down there and it just isn't making much money. They're like, of course it's not. You're just leaving random links below your stream. That's not a real passive income strategy. Passive income is all about helping your audience make better decisions. It's all about saving them time. It's all about narrowing down all of the choices in the entire world to only one or two, maybe three of the best possible options for them because you as an expert know what the answer is and you're gonna show them exactly why the recommendations that you're making are the best options out there. And that's precisely what all of my videos are. I'm doing only the two best webcams only the two best mics, only the two best USB mics. My mixer video you see here on the screen, I'm recommending one mixer. I'm saying this is the best one. Look at it. It's the one I'm using in my studio right here. I'm like, look at it. I'm gonna demo it for you right now. If you think what I demoed for you right now is awesome, buy the thing. And they fucking did. And I made thousands of dollars off of it. It's that simple. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Makes perfect sense. So find a, uh, a spe specifically, if you're going to be doing this, this passive income strategy using Amazon Associates, create a video that's dedicated to the product that you're going to be providing the link for. That's simple, correct? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of well, that I mean, simple. It, like Essentially, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, you can make, so, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to, don't do a review video. Nobody cares about your review. What you're trying to do is you're trying to narrow down people's choices to the best choice. So don't review phones. Don't review keyboards. Just like do a video on like the two best keyboards for FPS games or the best mouse for AIM or the best XYZ for XYZ. 
you want to narrow it down to the best because you're trying to save people time because they can shop on the internet all day themselves and read reviews, but they want somebody to save them time by aggregating only the best down uh, in, into one video. They don't want to have to read. If they're searching for a video on this, they don't even want to read reviews. They don't want to read websites. They don't want to read articles. They don't want to read anything. They just want somebody to show it to them on the screen and narrow down their choice and just basically make their choice for them. Or to validate the choice they already made and push them over the edge to finally make that purchase. Does that make sense? It does. That makes perfect sense. There you go. And that's how passive income works. People think it's fake. People think that uh, things like a, a affiliate doesn't make money. They're like, I've tried and it doesn't work. I can tell you, I was right there with you. I thought it didn't work. I almost deleted my Amazon Associates account because I thought it, I thought it was fake and it didn't work. I did a couple hundred hours of research on this topic, looked at all of Pat Flynn's podcasts and his courses and all this stuff to learn about this. And as soon as I did it, I'm like, damn, this really doesn't work. It's a long game. Think one year, two years, three years from now with your content and you'll be making thousands of dollars per month potentially in revenue uh, by running an Amazon Associate Strategy. Ross, A. Dillon, get us out of here. That was your daily drop. Full replays, go to YouTube if you missed anything. If you want to need to see another walkthrough of how AWOL did it, go there. You can also find us on any audio platform, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Leave us a nice rating, and we will be back tomorrow. Happy creating AWOL. And speaking of creating, there's other types of income that you can make on the internet, including sponsorships. We are sponsored by Restream.io, and we are currently streaming on Twitch, DLive, Facebook, Trovo, YouTube, and Periscope. And you should use the link in our description, as well as in the About section and bio, to get $10 off your first month of Restream so you can maximize your audience much faster. Also use our code DROP25, D-R-O-P-2-5, with no space. That's D-R-O-P-2-5, with no space. And you can be making 25% off your Restream account sign up. Put that money in your pocket and then go make some Amazon affiliate money. Adios, amigos. Happy creating. Go make Amazon money. Go. <laughs>